All right, so what I wanted to cover today is the uh, setting and changes of using a flow station. It's a flow station. This is a flow station. This is the Eptron flow station. So you can see there's a CFM reading output on it. Uh, that CFM value is supposed to be set at a specific number. There's a lot of things that go involved with setting up the flow station in this to control outdoor air damper positions. And so obviously first we want to go in and we want to set our password. 63, 63. Okay, once we do that, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go back and we're gonna change my brightness really quick so you guys can see this. Okay. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in and we're gonna go down to a few things. First, we're gonna go to unit view set. We're gonna go down to outdoor, mid outdoor air damper position. In mid outdoor air damper position, you're gonna see here at OAD capacity. This is what it's currently calling for, 20%. Now, if I go down, we want to make sure that we set vid limit to 100%. We want to make sure we set low flow V limit also to 100%. And then the last one, which is your DCV limit, we want to set that to 5%. At the very bottom, it's going to tell you actively what is controlling the outdoor air damper position. Field flow is the correct term. Now, what other things are you going to see there? Network, you're going to see none. Uh, you're going to see DAT, stuff like that. So here, when we go back up, notice how it went to 15%. Well, that's because the field flow station is saying that it needs more airflow, so now it's modulating up. Now, again, this is in view unit set in mid outdoor air damper position. Now we have to go to commission unit, and in commission unit, we go down to the same thing, mid outdoor air setup. Notice here that we have to uh, save these settings at the top on that last setting uh, to apply changes. Min outdoor air reset. If it's set to network, you have to set this to none. If you set it to network, network takes priority over the actual flow station. And then outside of that, this is also where you set your, your min CFM set points. 2850 is what they requested. Notice how we're pretty close on the money there, 27. This is your live value of outdoor airflow. Now, what if your outdoor air CFM value doesn't match your min flow or your, your, your flow set point? You have to verify below these that it is set up for VDC signal, not MA. Um, and then you have to set what that limit is, zero volts to 10 volts DC. Now you also have to verify on the Eptron that that, that flow status and that, that's, that um, control signal of 10 VDC is also set correctly. Because if not, then you're gonna find is, is that um, you have all sorts of problems. So, I'll get my finger out of the way here. There we go. Okay. And that's it. Once we set all those things up, 